Eaton and you are good to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bored, tired, sleepy? I don't see any reaction. Nothing at all. Anything? Anything? Anyone? Right. To begin with, TED Talks initially started with technology, entertainment, and design. What could influence people with these ideas? With my profile just being read out, I'm sure that um, you guys know. How many of you don't know me, actually? Don't know me at all? Never heard about me? No. Oh, wow. Have you heard the story Ugly Duckling? Yes. How many of you don't know about the Ugly Duckling? Okay, so Ugly Duckling is still famous more than me. Right. Um, basically, I'm not going to keep you long. I'm going to finish it in 15 minutes, as it's required. And I'm going to tell you the story just as a refresher, because back in the day we used to sleep with uh, stories, at, uh, like you know, the bedtime stories and fairy tales, Cinderella, Thumbelina, uh, Ugly Duckling, and so on. These guys, these days, um, kids put them to sleep themselves by Snapchat filters and things like that. You don't have to worry about them, especially those who are parents. They know about what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> Why ugly duckling? Because this was written 140 years ago by a person who was an actual uh, ugly duckling. This was his story. This was about him, his life experiences, and so on. And he wrote this story, and it was, it was adopted in different ways. Why am I telling you the story? Why am I telling you about ugly duckling? Is because that was my beginning. That is how I developed through the life. I'm not going to give you lectures on IT or finance or this or that. I find them boring. I don't know if you do or not. Uh, sorry if it offends anyone who's a finance expert and IT expert and so on. Right. Ugly duck. This story begins with a duck, a mother duck. And she has got eggs and she sits on them all day long waiting for them to hatch. Tell me if this doesn't ring a bell anything at all. So this mother is spending time on the eggs waiting for them to hatch and one day the eggs hatch. And when they hatch, if only four of them hatch, but one of them was remaining. Now the four ducklings which hatched, they looked exactly like the mother. But the one which was remaining, the mother got worried and spent a bit more time on the egg and hatched. One day it hatched and it was something completely different to the normal ducklings. It was a weird color, it was out of shape, everything, everything you could think about. So this duckling it grows and it spends time with friends, family members and stuff and he is being ignored, he's being insulted for being ugly, out of like a totally different thing altogether. So what he does is, he hates everyone, he hates himself, he walks away and he goes on to different places, different animals or different types basically, trying and blend in, but he could not. He could not blend in at all with anyone. He was rejected by everyone. He was detested by everyone. Trying different species, trying different animals and so on. Time goes by and while he is going through this phase, he's growing up and he becomes bigger. And one day he looks at himself in, in the water and he finds himself beautiful. And he goes and joins the rest of the swans. Because he was not a duck, he was a swan. He was born to be different. This story was written as a motivational thing. Something which motivates people, and it tells you about your developmental skills. I'm not going to get into developmental skills either. I'm going to tell you about me. I, when I was born, I was in a normal birth altogether. 
non-surgical, unlike the rest of my brothers. I was, I didn't cry for three days. And the nurses thought, I'm dead. So they had to slap me. And when they slapped, I cried. I cried louder than anyone else. It still shows in my voice, right? I'm louder than anyone else? Yeah. Time went on. I was, that was the first time I was ever in the news with regards to my birth. As I grew up, I was taken to different places. And I was not a happy person at all. Like other kids, they would get excited about these horses where you put coins or something. I was not happy. Leave me at home without anything and I'm the happiest person in the world. My t-shirt says happy as well. In case you didn't realize I'm happy. Okay. I, with time, became not here. But I also became medically sick. I couldn't breathe properly. I could not eat properly. I had blood deficiencies. Too many medical problems. My legs were too weak. The doctor said he could not, he would not be able to walk ever in life. But I was climbing up the tins, like you know these milk powder cans and tins? I used to keep them and I sit in them and I fell and I cut my tongue. And I still have talking problems. I don't know if you guys realize, but I worked on it. I was the ugliest person in the school. I was insulted. I was bullied by my friends. I was bullied by people, by my teachers. And that demotivated me. The kids used to play with football out, and I used to stay home. I used to play with these toy trains and toy robots and stuff. What kids used to do, I used to stay away from it. I, I like to be in my own world. Kids these days, the way they think is exactly the way I used to think more than 30 years ago. The training, how does it work? Everyone knows kids are not curious about it. But what I was curious about was, how does it produce steam? So I would look into it. I would look into robots, how do they work? And I would get everything at home because my father and my mother realized that I'm not a person who's going to go out and play football and whatever. I would be someone who would stay home, watch the popcorn maker make popcorns, ice cream maker make ice cream, get excited about all the technology I could have. And I went on from the time, so most of you people, I think some of you are too young, some of you are quite old, sorry. Um, we, I have passed through that time where we started with telegrams, we started with bleeps, and then pagers, and then mobiles, and then mobile phones, and so on. Back in the 90s, early 90s, when there was no Nokia 3310 or 3330, my mom said that today the phones are tied with the walls. One day we will be tied with the phones. And that's what is happening. That's exactly what is happening. What we used to think is not normal at that time is normal now. For example, when the, the initial camera phones came out, there was only back camera, there was no front camera. And people used to turn around and take pictures. And we used to think, we used to laugh at him, we used to say he's crazy. But now it's the normal. Like, you know, selfie, selfie, selfie is the first thing. People know about it. And there are terms for it as well. Grew up, rejected by everyone, went to London. I worked as a waiter. I used to clean dishes. I used to clean the floors, mop and everything. And I went through a phase where I was not accepted by anyone. I was rejected throughout my life. But then came the transformation, working through life. I was a waiter, I was a full-time worker. I got an opportunity to become a model. My first modeling assignment came with Versace, which was right after this picture. I went on to be a part of welfare. And if you remember how I used to look like, 
and how I looked later. It was not only my natural growth. I became, I was short, ugly and fat. I became tall, good looking. I know half of you won't agree with that. Um, and I developed myself. There was nothing in life which I didn't do. Whether it was modeling, whether it was sales, whether it was marketing, whatever it was. Golfer, I have a Lexus, life all settled, right? And the story? No, it doesn't. What happens next? Four years I was jobless. I didn't have anything. I had 40 BD in my pocket. Imagine a person who was getting 3,000 BD, ends up with 40 BD a month for four years. And that's where I was like, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? I need to plan my retirement. I need to do something. I was something. I was nothing. I became something and I'm nothing again. What am I going to do in life? I started working on myself. I started teaching. I started taking, I gained weight. I was 110 kilos. I became fat again. I went back into my childhood, basically. And then I started taking courses, nutrition, skincare, everything I could find on the planet, I would do that. And then it came to my mind to apply for jobs in a way where I work on something on the side, which is not going to be a business, it's going to be my home. I've done enough with the cars, changed enough cars, I've changed enough things in life, I need to buy an apartment, I need to buy a house. And while I was working on this apartment, I actually went on and I paid a down payment and I got an apartment. I saw a robot vacuum cleaner, which was uh, like, I hadn't seen it before, it connects with the mobile. I was the first person in the world to connect the robot vacuum cleaner with voice. And I was not supported by anyone. I had zero IT background. I had zero AutoCAD, zero Photoshop skills, nothing at all. And I designed an apartment, you see here, from interior designing to technology. And I got offers on Instagram while promoting the apartment for modeling what I was and what I became. It just gives you an example of how you transform yourself. You learn. You don't have a job. You work on yourself. You don't have the abilities. You pick up online skills. Right now you have YouTube, you have Instagram, you have other things. Do you think that was the end of it? After getting famous for everything and I got the blue on Facebook and blue on Instagram, that was my goal? Was my goal to make someone else happy? No, it was myself. I started working at the time where there was no social media and I landed the first career in Versace while being a waiter in a restaurant, right? Who doesn't have it in him? The change does not come from outside. It comes from within you. From an ugly, short, fat person, I became something which inspire people. TED Talks is all about what new ideas are you going to bring to the community? What can you tell people about you, yourself, and how do you progress? Because there are things you can find online. Quotes, inspirations, everything. But what you cannot find is real life stories from an ugly duckling to a golden goose. Thank you so much.